another YouTube video. Today's video is my updated makeup routine. I did just do one of these videos like two months ago. So if you want to go watch that, go click right here. But y'all were telling me that you want it again. And I do do my makeup a little bit different. Kind of the same, but a little bit different now. So I decided might as well. I'm so sorry I've been so inactive. I'm gonna start posting again. I've just been focusing on music. Y'all gotta be ready. Y'all gotta be ready. Also, let me say this shirt is from diamond supply company i'll put their ad on the screen let's get into it so i got these clips from i want to say bride aid but yes they come in really good handy i usually just use them when i do my hair and then i'm gonna be doing my makeup after i do my hair but i don't know i kind of just wanted to show you guys but yes i'm just not gonna do my hair i'm gonna leave my hair like this for today y'all Period. We love a natural queen. Yes. <laughs> yes. But if you do want a tutorial for how I do my hair with the extensions like this, let me know in the live chat because if y'all ask, I will deliver. Here's my makeup bag. It is uh, very much dirty. I don't know if I need a new one or if I just need to clean this one. I don't even know if I can clean it. I don't know. This makeup bag is also like a black f***ing hole. A black hole y'all i can never find anything in it everything's always lost and then like i'll be searching 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 and then i find it and it was right there the whole time so who knows okay so the first thing i'm gonna start with is my brows but i'm doing them a little bit different because i'm gonna start with carving them first i should be using concealer but recently i've just been using this foundation because i ran out of concealer so yeah we're just using born this way matte 24 hour in the shade vanilla and it's dirty as don't judge and to carve my brows i'm gonna be using this type of brush it's like angled but like curvy angle i don't know don't ask me because oh angled shading brush four and this is from sheen y'all this is from my sheen haul if you want to go watch that click right here but yes the only reason i'm using this one and not the just cert like flat round you know the one i used last video is because i lost that one and this was the only one that was kind of like it so that's why I'm, <laughs> that's why i'm using this one okay we up close and personal now um i'm just gonna get a little dot on there and then just flatten out the brush but i kind of usually put it right there because i have like a little marks right there oh let's see i'm using the wrong side and I'll use the like this side to see is this side straight. I'm so bad at explaining, but you just carve your brow. So ready? It got in my hair. Just get rid of the excess. And then let's do the other side. Period. Okay, and then we're gonna use the same method on the bottom. I know I look crazy right now, but I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender. I'm back. We ditched the scrunchie. So next is I blend this because this foundation, I don't know where I got it. So I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's cheap. I'm pretty sure I got it from Sephora. But I don't know, something about it, like it dries just super quickly. I think that's just how the foundation is since it's matte or something, but I don't want it to like leave like like that if i leave that like that it'll literally become like it'll stay like that okay once you're done blending that you're gonna go in with the same little spoolie and the eyebrow pomade by tattoo studio in shade medium brown i use the cap to just like flatten it and like use all the product and i literally just follow the shape of my brow but just make it like a little bit darker so make a line you can I, sometimes i do the bottom sometimes i do the top it doesn't matter which one you do first just like whichever you feel more comfortable i'm gonna do the top right now it's kind of scary i might have went a little bit too up but we'll see and then don't really go too much to the front but like kind of make a light line like that with the excess product and then Go in with the bottom line. And fill it in from like here back. 
don't touch the front oh my god i feel like a makeup artist this is how it's looking now you're gonna just do the same to the other side Ta-da! okay so now that you're right here you're just gonna use the spoolie and just kind of do that a little bit to try to make it like an ombre effect but now that you look like you have a unibrow if you were using concealer you would just you know blend the concealer that's already like right here but like i said this foundation is weird so we've adjusted to this which i've never done and i don't know okay i just got a little bit on here and have to go through it take the beauty blender and blend bitch blend okay now that your eyebrows are done depending on if we're gonna go for full face or not full face we'll just you know conceal up to make sure it's all blended obviously and call it a day but today we're doing full face as we should so get some on the cheek and just blend it Okay, once you look caked on, we're going straight for the contour. I use this contour stick from by Mario. It's in shade medium. It is dusty, crusty, and messy. I'm just kidding. It's just a little bit too dirty. <clears throat> I really could just wipey up all my stuff, but I'm just too lazy. So, I'm using this very circular brush. Oh. I'm gonna pop my nose ring up. And the contour is still the same, except we're not doing that anymore because we're just going up and we're just doing the nose using this brush i don't know it's like a blending brush we're gonna blend it and obviously we're gonna blend it over here but i'm just using like less contour now see because it definitely still very much did it okay now that your nose is contoured up we're gonna take this same brush we use to curl our eyebrows then we're gonna get the teeniest tiniest little drop on the little point of it draw your dot draw your exclamation point ladies hurry up and blend the top before it dries Okay, and then we're just gonna let it sit there for like a little bit, just a little bit. While we're letting it sit there, we're gonna go in with our blush brush and I... I have been using these two colors for my blush from this makeup palette because my blush broke and I don't have any more and I haven't gotten a new one. So yeah, this is what I've been using. Um, Just get you know a good amount and it's pretty fucking pink and then uh, yeah i like to just get that all on there pretty pink mm-hmm loving it so let's get some more i like a lot like right here for no reason and then I usually end up adding like way too much, but it's okay because we just buff it out with a big ass brush. And then we're gonna set it with the Urban Decay setting spray. Okay, now just kind of blend this with your finger 
and then I go in with this just like straight brush, straight brush. Crisp. This brush makes it crisp. Okay, and now I'm going in with this fluffy brush and the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Banana. I love how just like all setting powders smell for no reason. I don't know, this one just smells so good. And y'all know the one that's like has an orange cap with like the flowers? Everybody has it. I want that one. It smells so good. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of setting powder. And then with the excess, I kind of just do that. And we're gonna let that sit there and bake. While we move on. Ice is so good. Ooh, chips. We live in. Okay, so next thing I would do is curl my lashes and put on mascara, but I already curled and had mascara on. That was like the only thing that I had on, but they did get covered up with the beauty blender. So I'm just gonna put some mascara on cause I don't wanna curl my lashes while they already have mascara. I know some of y'all might think, oh, that's such a good hack. Like, no. You're just gonna rip your eyelashes out. And I'm really bad at like, not getting it everywhere okay now that my eyelashes are black thanks to power up mascara butter london that's how it looks it's super cute i can't find my lash glue so i will be using this mini ah, this mini lash glue eyler london lash fix okay putting glue on it While I'm waiting for the lashes to be done drying, I'm just gonna fluff out the nose baking. And I just do the, the bottom and then with the inner corners, I'm gonna go back with this fluffy brush and use that. Now that we've taken that off, we're gonna go back in with the Urban Decay. And we're gonna go back in with this palette and a Q-tip. Spray the Q-tip. And we're gonna go in with this sparkly shade right here. We're gonna go in with the same q-tip right on the bridge and i just made it look like my bridge was crooked okay we're fixing it boom hey pesco hey you wanna say hi he just slammed the door open and said meow i'm back bitches Oh, hi, baby. Super cute. He's so handsome. Okay, bye. My palette better not have... After this video, I will have to have a new makeup routine. I can't believe that just happened. So... This is my updating makeup routine, but this will also, I will be changing my makeup routine because, yeah. Going with this brush and the same highlight shade. Blend. And take your tweezers and apply the lash. These lashes are not doing it for me. 
they are old i've been reusing them and reusing them because i'm waiting for what the fuck is that <sighs> i need some ice basically i don't have any lashes at the moment because i didn't know where to get any because i always got them sent to me from just flash it or just lash it but they're just flash it now and they don't sell lashes anymore and those were my last pair these are actually my last pair but these ones i haven't used because they're so small but i think i'm gonna use these today and don't worry i have a pack from amazon coming okay we're gonna start over with the gluing the lashes on okay while we're waiting for the glue to dry we're gonna go back in with this palette i can't believe it broke i literally use this palette for everything in my makeup routine because i've recently just been using my purse like just walking around with my purse everywhere because i just walk around with my makeup bag in my purse along with this and along with the setting sprays so i literally have everything i need but i don't know new makeup routine soon okay so it's just gonna spill everywhere but next thing i do is i go in with this little tiny square brush and i go in with this it looks like black but it's not black it's like a really, really dark blue, and it kind of has like a little bit of sparkle in it. Here, I'm going to try to show you guys. I don't know, it kind of just looks like black, but that's why I use it, because it looks like black. So I'm just going to get, you know, just tap my brush on it as it's breaking. And then just put it in my inner corner. But yeah, just go all the way around your whole eye. And then at the end, kind of do like a little out thing. It doesn't even matter how it looks because it doesn't get seen. It, oh, ah, I'm making such a big mess. But yeah, I'm going to do the other side. Okay, I have the lash on. Um, I'm going to put this lash on and I'm going to fix whatever the on my face give me a second okay i have both lashes on but i'm not loving them they're not my favorite but i'm gonna put more setting spray and we're gonna do the last thing which is lips i just recently got this brand new lip liner la girl lip liner natural cream so just outline your lips Top done, now do the bottom. I'm not gonna lie, I just got this lip liner a few days ago, so I haven't really figured out what I do after I line it yet. I don't know what, you know, cause at one point you guys know I was putting like an out, a darker color on the outside and then putting like a lipstick. And then uh, most recently I was doing like this super dark lip liner. It's like a brown lip liner with some lip gloss. So I'm going to just put on some lip gloss and hope it looks good. Cute. I kind of liked it even without the lip gloss, but I don't know if that's cute or not. This is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though it was super chaotic, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, turn on the bell. The bell's super important, y'all. Make sure you turn on the bell. Not my half fingernail. Life update, y'all. They're all looking cute, a little bit dirty, but that one kind of cut in half. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Make sure to go check out all my other social medias. Go check out all my other YouTube videos. Bye, guys. Love you. I forgot to show it with the nose piercing. I always forget about the nose piercing. <laughs> and I don't know where my other one is. I lost it. I lost both of them.